we invite you each week to come and worship with us, beginning with our consecration of leaders and ministries on Sundays at 8.15 a.m., followed by our discipleship and abundant life classes starting promptly at 8.30 a.m. Then we're off to an exciting time of worship and the Word now beginning at 10 o'clock a.m. On Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m., we will have our prayer time entitled GAP, God Answering Prayer. At 7.15 p.m., we will have our praise and worship followed by a powerful word from the Lord from our bishop. So come out and fellowship with us here at The Arm for an encounter that is second to none. Hope to see you there. Today was the fourth week of New Life Orientation for our new family members. We encourage all new members to meet with Bishop and Lady Thomas in classroom number three at 8.30 a.m. for the next two weeks. Those having completed their class should meet with Overseer Hutchinson and Brother Godfrey Story in classroom number two for Discipleship 101. We invite all members who are not in the New Life Orientation sessions to join us for Abundant Life. Classes in the chapel as we discuss the Lord's Prayer. Each Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. We will meet and be edified by our various ministers. See you next week. Join us on Wednesday, March 8th, for what is always a great time in the Lord. We will celebrate the baptisms of those who are experiencing new lives in Christ. Then we will honor the sacrifice of our precious Savior. Jesus said, This is the new covenant in my blood. As often as you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Don't miss this important time of worship. See you there. OACF, February is American Heart Month. In 2003, the American Heart Association and the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute took action against a disease that was claiming the lives of nearly 500,000 American women each year, a disease that women weren't paying attention to, a disease they truly believed and many still believe to this day affects more men than women. If you had heart disease, would you recognize the symptoms? Many people are familiar with the scene of a man clutching his chest and falling to the ground, but there's plenty more you need to know. There are four silent heart attack symptoms that women should most definitely be aware of. Shortness of breath. Women often struggle to breathe a few weeks before experiencing a heart attack. Back pain. Irregular pain in the lower or upper back can indicate stress to the heart muscle. Jaw pain. Sometimes the heart isn't able to give a good signal and instead the pain can radiate to the neck, jaw, and back. Nausea. Flu-like symptoms are often reported weeks and days before a heart attack. Don't take these symptoms for granted or ignore them. Take precautions and get checked today. Have you or a family member ever needed a blood transfusion? Or maybe you have sickle cell disease. What would happen if that much needed blood was not available? African Americans have higher rates of aggressive cancers, higher rates of sickle cell anemia, and African American women have higher rates of fibroid tumors which cause excessive bleeding. Are you asking yourself how you can help? Well, here's your opportunity. In conjunction with the yard sale, the health ministry is partnering with One Blood for a blood drive. So come out and join Open Arms Church for a chance to save lives on Saturday, March 4th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. here at OACF. 2763 Dunn Avenue. You must be 17 years or older. Please sign up today after worship and we thank you for your support. The prison ministry will host a spring yard sale on Saturday, March 4th from 8 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. The event features a variety of different vendors and quality items. If interested in a booth, please sign up today after worship. Booths are $25 for individuals and $30 for businesses. It's time for Prayer Conference 2017. In Luke 18:1, Jesus spoke a parable to this wise, that men ought to always pray and not faint. On Friday night, March 17th, it will be an intimate time with our intercessors. And then on Saturday morning, March 18th at 8.30 a.m., we will begin with a continental breakfast, and then the conference continues at 9 a.m. with several breakout sessions. We will welcome Pastor Brenda Ray of Redemptive Life Fellowship in West Palm Beach, Florida, and from right here in Jacksonville, Dr. Carolyn Love of One Church Jacksonville. We believe it will be a blessing for all. So come out and learn how to strengthen your prayer life. 
We want to see you here. On last weekend, our young ladies and our pastor's partners went downtown to deliver toiletries and goodie bags to those who are in need. What a wonderful way for our young people to see that even when God has blessed us with all that we have, we still have to find a way to give back to those who need a helping hand. What a wonderful way for our young people to start 2017. Open arms, give them a hand. Join Bishop Thomas for our Monday morning prayer every Monday morning at 6 a.m. The number to call is 712-775-7031. The access code is 869990. The calls are toll free from your cell phone and it's not on landline. Please support the pastor's partners in their fundraising efforts immediately after worship in the fellowship hall. If you've enjoyed today's message, please stop by the media window to pick up a CD or DVD. And also, if you're tech savvy, remember to go to our Facebook page and like it. And don't forget to download our OACF app to all your mobile devices. Please do not place any information in the lobby without church approval. From a church of grace and full of charm, we are in the know here at Open Arms.